When beginning to set up your overflow filler, you're going to want to first bring your bottles in underneath your fill bar. This is a all pneumatic machine, which looks a little different because there's no control box, but the basic setup is all exactly the same. And we'll go over the controls portion of it in a separate video. The mechanical, like I said, is exactly the same. So as I start in this video, I'll show you here, we got four containers that are gonna be in your fill zone. You're gonna to wanna to keep them even. So in this four head machine, I would run two containers to the left of my dive cylinder, two containers to the right of my dive cylinder, and that keeps the pressure equal across this fill bar. So I'll bring these four in initially. As you can see, there's four bolts here at the top. If you loosen these bolts, that'll allow you to slide these fill heads left or right. And it's the same for either of these. You want to make sure that when you are sliding these around that you be cautious of where the upper hose lies, that when it goes to dive down, it's not going to catch uh, generally on one of the air fittings for your dive cylinder or be dragging along the side of this Acme rod or get pinched anywhere. The bottom one will rotate as it moves around, but so the top one is your main concern. So how I would normally do this, this one is currently dove down in the video here, um, but that gave me the best view to show you the upper bolts. How I do this is I would get the four bottles where I want them to be, and then I would use my hand wheel to raise this whole fill bar and cylinder up. So that way when I can, when I manually dive down uh, the fill heads, that they will actually be above my containers. So once I get to that point, I can set the left to right and I can bring it down gently while it's fully dove down with the hand wheel above. Bring them down just above my containers, make sure that they are the nozzle tips are centered in each container. Once those are centered, then I can go ahead and I can bring that all the way down and what I'm looking to do is fully compress the springs on all four fill heads. So you do not want to over compress these because then it can jam up your inside your nozzle and bend your fill bar, it could break bottles, any of those things. So you just want to bring it to where it's just compressed. It is also very important uh, that the conveyor is level underneath here and that it's well supported under here. There's a lot of pressure from all four of these fill heads coming down. If this conveyor bows or is not level uh, left to right or front to back, it will not seat well on these gaskets and will cause fill problems. So that's super critical and it's very critical that your fill bar or and or filler is also level. So once I have those dove all the way down and I have my left or right set and now I have my dive fully dove down height set here. Now I want to look at the end when I'm dove down I want to look and see where the end of my tube is at. So the end of the tube if I let this play and come back out As you can see right here, where the end of this tube ends up inside your container is going to be where your fill level will end up. Now to change that, you can see there are multiple sets of spacers right here. Each one of these fill heads comes with an arrangement. So you can change out these spacers, which will move your washer up or down and will ultimately move this tube up or down in your container and that'll end up where your fill level is at. Generally these should be all even because they should be flowing pretty well or pretty equal. So you, you just might have to uh, change that out in the initial setup and figure out how many spacers exactly you need and then match that across all four.
once you have your left, right, your up to down, and your spacers all figured out, then you can go to run a cycle. As you can see, when these, we got the bottles underneath, the machine will dive down. Once the machine is fully dove down, you can see that the opening ports for the fill ports are fully exposed. And you can also see the return port and chamfer is fully exposed. Then your pump will want to be activated. That will start the fill. You'll want to let that run until this point here where you, most of the bubbles have dissipated. Once most of the bubbles have dissipated, you want to turn your pump off. And you can watch the levels drop back down and stabilize between the four containers. Once those have stabilized and overflowed correctly, then you can dive the heads back up out of the containers. And allowing them to sit and stabilize afterwards is very important. Otherwise, you will end up with uh, incorrect fill levels or inconsistent fill levels. You can show you another one here where it dives down, pump turns on. And you watch the levels rise up, pump turns off, and they drop down and stabilize nice and even across the board and then rises back out. 